Hey, what is up? Thank you for coming back for another edition of the Horror Debate. I am Jeff Rowdy Jake here. He is Michael Mandy, and we are live. And this week we are going to be debating Hatchet 2, unrated. No, and uncut. <laughs> and uncut. Yeah. The, the sequel from Adam Green, starring, uh, this time it's starring Danielle Harris, uh, because the original actress, I guess, wanted... More she money. wanted money. Yeah, she wanted, she wanted money. to get paid. <laughs> yeah. You know? So, so because the first one must have been such a huge, resounding financial success. Oh, in, yeah, everybody involved in the making of Hatchet <laughs> One is is now rolling in green dollar bills. In right Adam now. Green dollar bills. Yeah, baby. Adam Green. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Adam was uh, smoking a hundred dollar bill the other day. I, I, yeah, no. yeah. And the return of Kane. Kane Hodder. Yeah, and Tony Todd. Yeah. You know, we. we you know, Candyman. In the first movie, we said, "Oh man, Tony Todd. He should have had a bigger part. We wanted more. We yeah. got more in this movie." Don't I tell you call that. him Tony Todd. He's Candyman. Okay. From, from here on out, he's Candy. Tony Todd. It sounds silly. <laughs> Candyman sounds scary. Candyman doesn't sound scary. I think of. I think of <laughs> Sammy Davis Jr. There's nothing scary uh, about Sammy Davis well, Jr. Well, it's better Tony Todd. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> He's candy man. But He's anyway, the candy man. He's the candy man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, no, you know what? And he was really good in this, I thought. He, you know, he, he, you know, it's funny because everybody kind of makes him out to be the, like the character that he played in Candyman because that's what everybody saw. You know, that's where he made his mark. And now you come back and you watch this, you're like, man. He's a different dude. Yeah, well... Uh, you know? He was pretty good, though. We, as good I, as he could be in this flick. Let's yeah, put it like that. Yeah, an actor is only as good as what he's given. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, what's the plot of this movie, Jeff? Well, it's, Talk it's, to it's, me. It starts directly after the first film, man. Immediately. Immediately after the first <laughs> it's film. It's funny. At the end of the first film, they're in this boat. He dunks her down under the water. And then yeah. this movie, he pulls her up, and she's a different girl now. Yeah. <laughs> So that's, <laughs> that's pretty good. And movie, I think though. it was for the better, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, yeah. I don't, but you know, if you're gonna have to replace someone in a horror movie to be a a small boned, dark haired girl, yeah. you can't go wrong with Danielle Harris. Well, I mean, you're given. You have to play with what chips you're well, given. You know, and she wanted that part to begin with. Yeah. She wanted to be in the first flick. Yeah, so, and, you know, and, and she has a reputation yeah. for the, a good reputation in the horror community, and it's like, okay, great. She just it just wasn't quite the effectiveness of like say her performance in Halloween two, you know, Rob Zombie's Halloween uh -huh. two, you know, just this is of course more tongue in cheek, more trying to go back to the eighties vibe of silliness and buckets of blood and pieces parts, and you know, I mean, the dude gets like on a chainsaw. Riding on a chainsaw in this flick, you know. I mean, it's like two guys at a time. Yeah. So back to the uh, plot. What's the <laughs> plot of this? You know what? Well, Tony Todd, okay, Candyman, is putting together a lynch mob to go after the Hatchet Man. Okay, right. Because right? because she comes to him, she escapes. Right. And and she comes to him and says, uh, Victor Crowley is alive and still out there. Right. So Tony Todd gets together. Uh, you know, they get the band back together. Right. And they say, let's all go hunting. Yeah. Yeehaw. And he got some of these tough guys who didn't look so tough once they got into the uh, forest and, uh, you know, out in the wilderness and started, uh, <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Or at least a, a set. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But uh, so that they're out there searching and guys are dropping like flies in all various sorts of ways, which was great. I thought it was very inventive um, as the way people died. Um, which is enjoyable. I mean, you're going to dig this film, but it's not a good film. <laughs> okay. You're, you're going to dig that it. That explains that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's wrap our heads around that, yeah. that sentence. You're going to dig this film, yeah. but it's not a good because film. Because you're not looking for like Shakespeare, you oh, know. You're, this is not Shakespeare. You're, you're, looking, you're looking to have some fun. I mean, that's yeah. what this film is about. Yes. He knows that. You know, I, I've got a feeling that I could tell that the making of this film all the people because seriously the director uh, he, i even saw the the special features yeah. he got he literally got the band back together Absolutely. all the crew yeah, everybody the came back i think they had more fun filming this movie than the actual end result yep you think, like, you think that chick who left like in the after the first film you think she was sorry after she saw that everybody like literally everybody else came back I, I guess. I don't I mean, know. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd be feeling kind of stupid going, well, I'm going to hold out. Everybody else is like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. This is going to be fun. I mean, this is going to be fun. We yeah. Have, I don't know. It seemed like the first movie, they seemed more, I don't want to say hungry, but it's yeah. just, I enjoyed the first movie a heck of a lot more than this yes, movie. Yes, I did too. I, I did too. I, the problem I found with this movie was 
uh, I don't want to say a sequelitis, but it's true. I think they all sat around a table the same. and they said, okay, here's the same, but we got to double everything. Yep. So how many gallons of blood did we use in the other? 184,000 gallons? Good. Let's double that. He even said Let's, that. Yeah. He, he, did, he said yeah. that. And he, he said, yeah. you know, we're going to double everything. This double is bigger, the bodies. better. Yeah. You know, he thought it was better, but it's, it's it was definitely bigger. It was definitely bigger. But yeah. the thing is, I think it kind of bordered on silly. Yeah. I, I, it, the first movie bordered on silly. Not as bad. Not as bad though. But it was no, still okay. had but, the silly. Okay, but the silly in the first one was was the writing and the characters. Yeah. Okay, I you know like some of the smart ass remarks. Right. Like you know when the guy was you know. You had the guy the, from Grandma's oh, Boy yeah. in there. Okay? Oh yeah. You had to yeah. be silly. Okay. Well, in, the, in the first movie when they said you know oh please tell me this is part of the show. Oh yeah, I crash a boat every night. <laughs> Real funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah, yeah. that this. Yeah. Whereas in this one it didn't seem to have the. I most of these characters I didn't even know who the heck they yeah. were until they were dead. Yeah. And even after they were and dead. And what a death they it? had. Oh yeah, yeah, some of them. Some were kind of ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> they were very <laughs> ridiculous. And that's what made it funny. Yeah. What okay, I'm gonna give one away. What I already gave one away. I'm gonna give yeah. two away. When the when the guy gets his face cut, you know, across you go basically across the head, flat you know, flat yeah. down, and cuts off turns. the front of his face, yeah. you know, I I'm digging that. I'm loving that. You know, I mean I I laughed. Yeah, but I think the thing was, I was laughing. In the first one, I was laughing at the things the people were saying. Like, when yeah. Tony Todd... Oh, yeah, when the they said, were ridiculous. When the, but, but when Tony Todd said, you know, they said, wait a second, last year, you know, when, when the guy from, from uh, what's that? Oh, Bones. When yeah. the, the guy from Bones, yeah. who was in the first one, the tall, lanky, nerdy dude, hey, I thought it was, uh, you did a haunted tour last year. And he goes, yeah. And then the guy stood up and he sued me. Now yeah. get off of yeah. my porch before you get a lawyer on me again. Yeah. I was dying at that because <laughs> that was funny, but true. <laughs> yeah. You know, and like with the Asian guy, oh, yeah, I crash a boat every night. That's a, that's a funny, but true. Right. Whereas here, it was more Three Stooges slapstick. Yeah. So one, I think, I don't want to say if part one was more cerebral, because come on. Wait, 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 wait. It was not cerebral. But you but know you've gone with the stupid stick in certain things when your 17-year-old, 15-year-old, and 12-year-old all look at you in the end of the film like, well, there's an hour and a half I can't get back. You know what I mean? Then you know, you know you've gone off the path somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> all they, I'm, they, all I'm they weren't relate to anything. It was just for the blood. Yeah, yeah, that's just it. The first yeah. one didn't have as much blood and gore and and silliness. Yeah, I mean, come on, dra you know, dragging people by their intestines, and they're still awake. Hey, don't you know. talk about machete. Yeah. Machete rules. Hey, machete don't text. Machete don't text. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I love you know, that I've seen movie like five. Too. I swear to you, I've seen like five movies in the last month. That have had intestinal dragging. <laughs> I kid you not. It's like a new trend. I the trend so. for 2011 is intestinal dragging. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So, what did we think of this? Was well, it you know, I had fun with it. I, I dug it, um, but it's not as good as the first movie. No. Um, it, it was definitely silly. The kills were funny. I got a big laugh out of the chainsaw. Big laugh out of the face coming off. There were a couple more that were really cool. Tons of blood. If you know what, if you're sitting around with your buddies drinking a few brewskis, you're gonna crack up over this thing. But taking it as a serious horror film, not so much. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. The the first one I would take more as a serious horror film. This was yeah. more like a bunch of buddies yeah. getting together and just having a good time yeah. and seeing how far can they go, how outrageous can they go. That's too bad because I think and, I think Green, you know, he actually really thought that this was gonna be like uh, the bigger, better, badder. Sequel, and he got two of those right. It was bigger, it was better. <laughs> yeah, <you laughs> but it know, wasn't better. Adam, you know, you know, I I loved Frozen. I loved we, we Frozen. We loved Frozen. We we loved the first movie. This one, I think you were overshooting. Well, I don't know. I didn't. I want to see your next movie. Two, two, two? stars. Yeah, two um, stars. I want to give it three, but I can't. Yeah, I think I, I gave the I'm, first one maybe three. This yeah. is this is definitely a two. Yeah, no, I, I think I'll go for one on this one. I, w I think it, it. I was disappointed. Yeah, well, from from this, I expected it. To I, be, I expected actually, to have a good time. Yeah, and, and I actually was, was yeah. too. So I'm gonna give it a one star. Two stars. All right, I'm Michael Mandy. He's Rowdy Jeff. We will talk to you next week at the horror debate. <laughs>